season's arrival is not official at Penn State until a drum major arrives, and here is Darren Bennett. The start of a doubleheader on ABC. Later, after we conclude, it is Notre Dame against Purdue. Welcome, everybody, with Dick Vermeil. I'm Brett Musburger. Dick, you take a look at some of the names missing. Kajana Carter, Kerry Collins, Kyle Brady. Huge losses for the Nittany no Lions. No question, no question. But you know something? They're still a fine football team. With a winning average of 26 points last year, if they lose half of that production, with an offense, seven guys returning, they're still a fine football team, plus the defense is better. I still believe they're solid contenders for conference and national honors. I'm no mathematical genius, folks, but I love Spike Dykes in 21, if his accounting... <laughs> well, listen, Spike Dykes, these kids are going to hustle coming up here from oh, Texas. Oh, they really play hard, Brent. You, you can really expect them to play hard both offensively and defensively. They lost the Cotton Bowl last year to USC. They beat Texas prior to that. They played Texas A&M very tough. So look for them to play tough today. Their problem, inexperience in the defensive front seven. All right, Penn State with the longest win streak in college football. Chopin will try to win for the 18th straight time. 